Ladies and gentlemen, last week was the 25th anniversary of the bloody suppression of the students' protests on the Square of Heavenly Peace in Beijing. Back then, the students took to the streets for weeks for the sake of freedom of the press and against corruption, for reforms and especially for more democracy. In the night of the 3rd to the 4th of June 1989, the army put an end to the demonstrations by opening fire on the protesters. According to official numbers, 312 demonstrators were shot by army troops. These facts were sufficient for the mass media to remind mind of these past events in hours of film reports and thorough analyses. The reports bear titles like Tanks Against Democracy, The Open Wound of China and The Organized Oblivion. They accuse the Chinese leadership for refusing to re-evaluate the events as stipulated by many relatives of the dead. Here the media are fulfilling their task of raising sensitive topics and claiming their entire clarification and their task as a voice of suppressed minorities to make them heard in public. No more would have to be said about this if the mass media would deal in the same way with every injustice. This is not the case, however. So what is the reason for this? Why, for instance, did the media not at all or only superficially display the dreadful massacres of the population in eastern Ukraine? How many air raids should the Ukrainian army still execute against the people of Lugansk and other cities? How many pedestrians have still to be killed by cluster bombs on the streets and roads in eastern Ukraine? Is it not sufficient that not only Lugansk, but also Slavyansk, Kramatorsk and Krasny Liman are attacked by artillery? There the grenades hit also flats and homes, schools and hospitals. People are panicking and fleeing by tens of thousands. What has to happen still in order that the media shed light on this topic? Will 25 years have to pass before the Western media claim a complete investigation of, for example, the cruel abuse and massacre of over a hundred civilians in the trade union building in Odessa? It is known that there were also women and children among these. If you don't want to wait until the 25th anniversary of Odessa and all the other events, until even your newspaper or your favorite news broadcast presents exhaustive, authentic features claiming complete investigation, then become active already now. Change your channel. We here from Klagemauer TV are looking forward to welcoming you again tomorrow. Have a good evening.